The voice. I can't hear the voice anymore. <laughs> Is somebody there? Hey, who are you? Uh, where am I? It will soon be time, Edward Pierce. You are dead. None of this is real. I saw you dead, as I see you now. Am I crazy, too? You survived. Don't you understand? You couldn't die. You will stay alive until you've fulfilled your destiny. No! Look at me. Look at me, Pierce. Dare tell me that you still don't believe it. When I was eight, my little brother fell from the apple tree. He was bleeding. I took care of him. That very day, I decided to become a doctor. I never reneged on my oath. That's what led me to Darkwater. The people here needed me. I died trying to save one of them. Help me give them a second chance. Embrace the power of this sleeping god. You're out of your mind. It's not just your life that is at stake. Many men and women have sacrificed themselves for this moment. Colden! You will not deprive them of their hope of a better life. I saw what Leviathan did to Fuller. We will all die like him. His life was written well before it started. It was not predetermined that he lived to see the call. But you? Yes. It is your destiny. This painting. The investigation. I understand. Like you, I was called here by a higher power. Yes. All your choices had the sole purpose of preparing you for the final decision. I must make a choice. Not just make a choice. The right choice. Not yet, but soon. We have one more thing to accomplish. What is it? I must take you to Sarah Hawkins, our oracle. Sarah, I 
feel her calling me. Let us not wait any longer. Not yet. You have one last thing to accomplish. No. Please. I can't do it. Do you understand what it is? She has already fulfilled her mission. Worry about your own. No. No. No one can fight their fate. Neither them, nor you. dead. There's nothing you can do. Just give in. to conclusions? Is there not the tiniest spark of a scientific mind inside of that detective skull of yours? What abject substance did you use to turn her into an empty shell? Abject substance? The serum extracted from Leviathan's oil bestows the power of life. To me, my body is nothing but the mortal vessel of my conscience. To you, it contains more answers and secrets than your insignificant mind can grasp.
That is not you. Not anymore. Not since your disappearance on the docks. Ah, detective. So easy to fool you. So eager to rush to the rescue of a woman in distress. You won't make me regret having tried to save people. I did what I could. Even for Colden. Your efforts to change your destiny, although in vain, make you worthy of the fate that is yours. The day has come. You will be asked to choose. took your right to a normal life the moment you chose power over humanity. No one wants to see such an unbearable sight. You don't have the slightest idea of what you speak, of what I've been through. I have sacrificed my life to the one who sleeps. My marriage, my family, my own flesh. Why didn't Sarah choose me? Why is it your damn face on her painting? But you already know it. I can see that you will make the right choice. I don't know. I don't know. Your fear of the unknown and your Stupid pride cloud your judgment. Quit lying to yourself and embrace your destiny. It's not cowering that brought you those medals. None of this is real. Trust your guts. If nothing's real, what are you? I am a projection of your mind. What remains of that instinct that pulled you out of the trenches. Don't listen to them. They're too dangerous for your tired mind. Almost there. Seeker. She was waiting for you. You were waiting for me? Yes. When I finally discovered the truth, I knew you would come. All this time I was fighting it, afraid of what I might discover. But I was afraid of myself. It's coming. What did you learn? <laughs> Listen to me, Edward Pierce, as I will deliver the truth. I have seen things. Strange and horrifying, but always true. Will you trust my words? Yes. One man, one man only prepared by the trials and revelations, holds the power to change the world. 
because I saw you in the dreams I share with my God. I recognize you for what you are, a truth seeker, one of the rare humans who is able to perceive fragments of his mind. Yes, yes. I feel the truth in your words. Because it was written, or, as I like to see it, painted on the canvas of fate. Thank you.